So today we're going to talk about how to password protect your Shopify store. So what you do, you log into the back end of Shopify, then you go down here to online store, and then you navigate down here to preferences, and then scroll down just a little bit until you come to this section, password protection. And then what this does is you can check or uncheck this box to password protect your store. Now there are several reasons that you may wanna do this. Um, if you are still building your site and you're putting your products on there, but you're not quite ready to pick, pack and ship them or sell them, it's a good idea to password protect your store so somebody doesn't find you online, try ordering from your site and get, you know, get upset when they could have been a potential customer. So it's a good idea to password protect your site when you're building things. Also, if you have inventory issues or you take a pause from the business. Again, same thing, you don't wanna create upset customers. You may wanna come back to the business in the future. You may wanna relaunch the site. So it's a good idea to password protect it then. What it does is it makes it so if someone finds or goes to your website, they can't actually access the site themselves. They see a password protected screen. So what you do here is you just check or uncheck that. When you do check it, you can come up with your own password or use the default one. Um, you could do fun things like have your, you know, site, um, site opening soon, you know, to get people to remember it. Or, or if it's like a test user, you could put test user password. Um, so if it's something that you want to share with people, but if it's, if it's definitely something where, you know, you don't want any users to figure it out or guess the password, then just make sure that you make it something very complex with lots of characters, things like that. That way nobody can accidentally guess it as long as you're trying to make sure that, that nobody comes to the site. Now, if you are in development and you know, people may visit this site, get excited about your idea. Maybe if you're promoting in advance of the site being launched, it's not a bad idea to put a message uh, to your visitors too, like this uh, website launching soon. You know, you can even put the put the date, or you could add any information about you know what's going to be on the site, what's going to be sold, kind of fun and create some excitement. So you can use the password protection tool. You can turn it on and off here, but when you are using it, um, you know you can think critically about the type of password. Are you going to share the password? Does it just need to be something really secure so nobody can access it? And then what what can you use the messaging section to your advantage? for um, if you want to make sure that somebody you know who comes to your website has a reason to be excited about what it is that you know that they might find so if I if I go here too just for those who aren't familiar I'll open a new window and just show you, you saw that my site was password protected this is what it looks like um, you know and you can add you can add in the messaging here too um, you can ask people to collect their email address. And then if somebody does want to enter the site using their password, they can enter the click right up here in the top right and then enter their password here, that password that you designated and set up for them. Um, if you ever come to your own website and you're stuck and need to figure out how to log in, um, you can just go to your website URL for your Shopify site, click enter using password, click login here and you'll be able to log into your site that way too. Um, so that's it. That's how to create a password for to password protect your your Shopify store.